Hi, uh, today spaghetti sauce. That's probably the reason why my wife is with me. <laughs> but <laughs> you're gonna need a lot of stuff uh, and of course in the video uh, at the bottom I'm gonna list the ingredients from now on. It's been asking. It's not a bad idea after all. Okay, there's a lot of it. You need five pounds of meat. You're gonna need about uh, five to six Italian sausage. You're gonna need apples. You're gonna need carrots, you're gonna need broccoli, you're gonna need the uh, onions, you're gonna need one big huge thingy of V8, you're gonna need diced tomato, one can of pasta sauce, what, what, whichever you like. You're gonna need two of those cans of tomato paste, you're gonna need celery, mushrooms, uh, green or red pepper, these ones were on special so we went nuts and the spices oh my god here that's gonna be a toughie uh, i put parcel i put onion powder safari i put uh, oregano leaves whoops onion powder again sorry uh, garlic uh, lemon pepper fennel seeds salt thyme cinnamon uh, basic leaves, uh, savory, allspice, grounded, black pepper of course, nutmeg, Italian seasoning, and uh, anus uh, seeds, and bay leaves. Okay, as a rule of thumb, when I start with the spices, I put a teaspoon of each in the sauce. I cook it for 12 hours, then I readjust all the spices. And, well, I'll see you when everything is cut. And trust me, there is something that you want to make friends with. It's the food processors when you start something like that. Uh, back in the days, I used to cut it by knife, but now I just go nuts with that thing. So I'll see you when everything is cut. Okay, for the meat, I put it in the middle and I mix it with the sausage. Take the casing off the sausages. Very important, take the casing off the sausages and just squish it, put it in. And we're gonna cook this until the meat is cooked. Maybe not fully, but at least cook a little bit. And there's a little bit of juice from the vegetables, then I'm gonna add the rest. Okay, now that it has cooked a little bit, I'm gonna add the juice, the whole thing of V8. Whoa, splashy, splashy. I'm gonna add the diced tomato. Notice that I use the no-name stuff, well, no reason to pay more for a brand name. Put the whole three cans in. And I put the tomato sauce in it too. Now let's scrape the whole thing. We paid enough of that. And you mix it. And after that, I'm going to be adding my, my spices. Uh, I'm probably going to just put them in and list whatever you need. At first, like I said, I put a teaspoon of everything and I readjust after 12 hours of simmering. The only thing that you're going to add a little bit more is bay leaves. I put maybe in a batch like this, 12 to 15 bay leaves. So, I'll see you right after this. Okay, I put all the spices in it. I'm mixing it. And I'm gonna let it simmer for at least 12 hours. And in between, I'm gonna mix it about every hour. I'm gonna just go and 
tenderly rock it to bed and I'll see you in 12 hours well after 12 or 13 hours I overslept a little uh, you add your tomato paste you readjust your spices which I done and most important that I forgot to tell you but I'm telling you now is that the liquid is gonna go down so you're gonna have to add a little bit uh, while it's cooking and another thing since we use a lot of tomato paste it's gonna become a little bitter a little acidic so for a batch like this I'm gonna put half a cup of sugar in there it should lower the level of acidity and I'll see you when everything's cooked so basically after 24 hours there you have your sauce and it's ready to serve let's oh my god would you look at that that is beautiful uh, now that is amazing all right the wonderful thing about spaghetti sauce is that you can freeze it for about six months you can put it in preserve and keep it for two years and uh, don't be afraid to experiment but if you like the recipe let me know and share it